Hello guys. Welcome to Chat Baby. I'm a couple minutes late. I had some uh, difficulty getting my computer up and going. I think I have a short in my screen. I um, We're going to draw a winner. So we had two participants only, so I'm going to put both of their names in our drawing. Um, to remind you, we did a word scramble, and I just thought it would be a fun little thing to do and um, maybe get some interaction from you guys. I put six words up, and um, we only had two participants. One got four right, and the other one got three right. So Darla and Jody, thank you for playing. I just thought it would be something kind of fun. Um, I'm going to put both of your names in a drawing right now, and we're going to draw a winner. So... Let me get your names on this piece of paper I got here, and we will draw. So I've got Darla Hutchinson and Jody. I'm going to murder your name. I know I am. Ensminger, I think. So we will get you ladies in our drawing. I've got Darla and Jody. So I'm going to put them in a little bucket here. Let's see who wins. This is my my best part is picking the winner. So there's nothing in our bucket. Darla and Jody are going in the bucket. And I'm going to shake it up. And I don't want to cheat. That's why I'm doing it live in front of you guys. And the winner is, can we get a drum roll? The winner is... Jody, so Jody, I will be contacting you through Messenger, or I'll just text you, and we will make the plans for that. So I'm so excited. We're gonna have to do this again, and hopefully, I have more players next time. Let's see if I can come up with another fun little game. More players, the more fun. Okay. So tonight's project. Um, a while back, I did this um, October 31st on our black Grayson board. Um, it's our, I think it's a 9 by 12 I think, I think. Our 9 by 12 black on black. And I was wrong. It is actually so funny. I'm, I was really wrong. It measures the frame itself is 11 by Looks like about 14, but, oh yeah, the inside of it's 9 by 12, duh, okay, got it. But it is our Grayson frame, this is a Chalk Couture board, um, it has the hangers on the back, it's a really sturdy board, it has our Chalk Couture logo, um, yeah, there's not going to be any breaking to this board at all, it's very sturdy and good quality. Um, I'm going to take this image off and I'm going to put... Um, I think pumpkins and the word fall on it um, for a fall decoration instead. So I'm going to show you how to clean our board and then start over from scratch. So let me get you to our surface and I will get this going. If you come in, say hi to me. Hello, Charlene. Thank you for coming. Let me get you down to our surface. Give my computer a minute to catch up here and make sure that you're seeing everything, all the goodies. Don't mind how dirty my table is. I did not wash it from painting a project the other day. Um, I'm going to take our board scraper. Yes, you do hear kittens. Um, actually, they are like teenagers, toddlers. <laughs> they are ornery and they have been very talkative lately. Um, so we will need our board scraper. I'm just going to spray this with a little water. You can use tap water for this, but I'm just using what's in my fine mist sprayer. This is not a Chalk Couture fine mist sprayer, but we do offer these on our website. And I've got a glare. Let's see if that helps or makes it worse. You'll have to let me go. No. So we're going to let this soak a little bit with water. Charlene, I liked your baby onesies. They were very cute. I was going to do ink tonight too, but decided I didn't want to get into the fabric and I wanted to do something fun. So I'm going to play with our Grayson. 
So what I'm doing is using this um, paste scraper and that gets off all that dry paste, which is no longer dry, of course, because I sprayed it. But it helps so much in time and everything else to try to get that chalk off. So we're just going to scrape it along and put it in a pile. And I'm going to get some paper towels and clean this up. scoop that right up and then I will use our board eraser which will get off the rest of this nastiness because the board eraser will help with getting the shadows and the ghosting of the image that was once on here it looks like I got it down in the crack so let me get that out all right so, I'm going to spray it just a little bit again, and it actually looks pretty clean, but if, it's called ghosting. You can still see the image if you shine it a certain way, and we want to get rid of all that, get rid of all the residue. And this is our board erasers, they're usually thicker than this. Mine is just well used at the moment. It comes in a pack of two on my shop site. And then this is our fuzzing cloth, and I'm going to use the dry side. There's a dry side and a fuzzy side. Um, when you use a transfer, you want to get off some of the sticky um, and put actual fuzz on there. And so the loopy side puts the fuzz on your transfer so it doesn't stick to your surface as much. And then the dry side could be drying of any kind. And so now when I wipe this, everything is gone, and it's like this board is brand new. And that's the great thing about Chalk Couture. Um, our chalk is not permanent. It can be reused. Our surfaces are all reusable. All right, so that's nice and clean. And I'm going to set all of my stuff aside and get going on here. I'm not sure. I've got the pumpkin pattern ready to use. And I don't know if this big one, I was thinking about using this sideways this time, but I don't know what will fit. So let's see what we decide here. And then I'm going to pick some fall colors. This is our um, pumpkin patterns transfer. And it goes alongside with our pumpkin cutouts that are available, our wooden pumpkin cutouts. And it comes with two big um, pumpkin transfers and also two little ones that fit just nice for our pumpkin transfers because uh, the, or not transfers, sorry, the pumpkin cutouts come in a pack of two. And you get one large and one small pumpkin cutout. And so our pumpkin patterns transfer comes with two styles for each size pumpkin. But you can use these and incorporate these in many different projects. And the big one's too big, so I can just use one on the side like that. Or will I be able to get two? I won't be able to get two here. I can tape some of it off, maybe and put one side by side. I don't know if I want to do that. One will just be, you know, off of the board. We can do that, I guess. We'll try it and see how it goes. Why not? I'm not going to sit and think about it all night. I'm just going to do it. Layer them with both patterns on top of it. With the polka dots end. I don't know what you mean by layering it. Explain what you mean. And which one would I do on top? The polka dots maybe? If 
if I layer it, won't it look weird? Because it'll be like see-through and you'll be seeing both images. Charlene, give me your insight. Please explain. Also, I'm going to use our... Uh, I just dropped them all over the place. Our letters um, to say the word fall. Let me find my L since I just spilled all my letters everywhere. There is an L in my mess. Give me just a second so I can find it. And go. Okay. Charlene, are you listening? Are you out there? Tell me. Because if I layer it, it would be spots over. I mean, I guess it could. We could try it. We'll layer them. Unless you meant taping it off like I was thinking of. Well, let's pick our colors. Well, maybe she'll tell us what she meant. I think I kind of wanted to do shimmer. But I'm not for sure because I've got the uh, olive shimmer. I just got the olive shimmer and I've got the copper. I think that would be fun. And then... We could do the fall in, I don't know, just white, I think, is what I was planning. Well, I think I'm just going to tape it off. I'll do the polka dots first. And... These are pretty sticky because I haven't used them a whole lot, so I'm going to use our fuzzing cloth on the loopy side and put some fuzz on it. We do this because if you put it on your surface too sticky, if you go to take that transfer off, it will stretch your transfers, and that's something you probably do not want to do. So, I'm going to do it one more time. I worked on something the other day and I wasn't so lucky. So I'm going to get this down as far over as I can and as far down and, and you want to put it down on your surface so that there's no bubbles. Maybe Charlene's not in here anymore. Are you still listening? I got something. Oh, it's a hair. Okay, so we've got that. Let me get some stir sticks and some squeegees. Who knows what I'll need and I'll want. And they say you really don't have to stir your shimmer paste much, but I always do because I always feel like there's pigment in there. I haven't ever seen them, um, the pigment separate from it at all on the shimmers, but I do too just in case. You know what, I think I want a big one. This isn't really our big one, this is our small squeegee. And then these are our mini squeegees, so you can see the size difference. We have many different styles of squeegees, they're our best friends. So then you just want to pull it through your transfer. I try to make it 
as even looking as possible. I'm just putting it on there and pulling it through. Um, our transfers are silk screen, so there is a, a screen there that our chalk paste goes through. It's not like a stencil where it's like an empty hole. There is a screen inside our transfer. And you can go top to bottom, left or right. When you're doing ink, it um, a good tip is to always go the same direction every time. But I don't think with chalk it makes too much of a difference. And this is our shimmer olive. So olive is not a favorite color of mine because of course it's green and that's not my favorite. But with this shimmer olive, it is so, so pretty. All our shimmer colors, they have, I don't know, there's something about them I really like. And they are such good sellers. They're hardly in stock because we can't keep them stocked up. That's So if you want them and you see them on the site, you better grab them now because before long, they, they don't last very long. It took me a long time to get the Shimmer Shadow, which is our black. Now that turned out excellent. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe how pretty that is. Holy cow. And I'm not exaggerating, you guys. This is so pretty. Okay. Better than I thought, even. Okay, I'm going to sit that on my backer sheet and put it aside because we are not to no longer put them in our water bath to soak. And I got a hair dryer down here. I'm going to dry that first because I do not want any mess ups with this because that turned out perfect. All right, it's going to be loud for a minute. So that's really nice. Okay, now for this one. I am going to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz like crazy. And then we're going to see how we're going to block this off. I don't think I want to overlap the colors so it's circles and stripes overlapping like that. Charlene never got back to me to let me know what she meant. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I was a little MIA this last week. Um, it was a busy week at work. Um, during the day, I am a job coach. And that means that I work with um, people who have disabilities um, so that they can become more independent and work on their own out in our community at their own jobs. So I have many different clients throughout the week, and to be honest, I just really didn't feel like it this week um, going live. I did some different behind the scenes um, projects, just kind of kept to myself. I was just so exhausted and tired. Okay, so I have my transfer fuzzed. And... I have another hair. Now I'm not going to press down on the part that's overlapping the pumpkin. And honestly, I don't know what I can put down. Maybe a backer sheet for part of it. I'm just not going to press right there. I'll only press on the the teal part of my transfer to make sure that it's all down and we're only going to butt right up against 
as close as we can to that other pumpkin. Let me put this down so that there's no, we don't want any bubbles getting trapped in there because we want this one to turn out just as pretty. Okay. And I'm going to use the copper. I think I'm going to start at the bottom because I'm going to have to move this to get that little tiny bit. Actually, I'm going to do it that way, a little bit farther out. There. And I did not press where it's overlapping there because I'm afraid that when I pull the transfer that it will pull that paste right off my surface and I don't want that. So I'm not taking any chances. Okay, so now let's get our copper ready. And I'm going to give this a quick stir. Not too much because it really don't need it. And I'm going to grab our other squeegee. And then when I get close to the other pumpkin, I'll probably switch to a smaller squeegee. getting too close to me. I'm going to put the extra in back into my jar and I'm going to grab, do I want this one or do I want the baby one? I think we'll go with this one. Now I'm going to go, my hand might be in the way for you to see, but I'm going to go right up close as I can get to that other pumpkin. Okay, a little bit more here. Oh, this is going to make me so happy when I pull this off. I just know it. If you have not yet tried Chalk Couture and you want more information on it, um, we have Try Me Kits, we have smaller um, transfers that you can work with. You wouldn't have to buy a whole lot of supplies at the beginning, um, just a little bit to get yourself started. But you should visit my site and check out those Try Me Kits. They come with a surface, a squeegee, and um, coordinating paste packets. And they're all about, I believe, 19 something, about 20 bucks roughly. Okay, I'm gonna pull this off. Are you ready? Watch and see. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm probably sounding so crazy right now, but holy cow. Yay. I just can't believe it. This makes me want to do more. Look at how nice that turned out. I think this is one of the best ones I've done, you guys. You know, the last couple times, I think, and on actually many of my videos, I've made a mistake and I've had to fix it. The one I had to completely do over on that piece of wood chunk that I did. And now look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to dry it off.
should be good. Feels a little tacky yet, but we're not gonna mess with it. I am going to close up my chalk paste now. I might actually go get my other board and do my other board fall. Because I feel like I wanna do these other do other pumpkins. This is just too much fun not to play, right? I can never do just one project for you guys. I always have to do two or three. I think one time I did five. Okay. So those are closed up and set aside. Now I'm going to get out our painter's tape. We also have um, a tape on our site called placement tape that Chuck Couture offers, but I don't have that yet. I have this painter's tape. And for me right now, it works just as good. I'm going to put this right above our pumpkins. Try to make it as straight as possible. And I think that will allow room for our letters. Oh, maybe not quite actually. Might have to do it just right above this pumpkin. That'll work. All right. So when you buy our alphabets, it comes in a big old. Let me reach it. Comes in a big old bag like this, and this one happens to be our our rustic font, and it comes with all the letters in the alphabet, a couple symbols, and. Um, the numbers. They don't have lowercase. They're all just uppercase on the rustic font. Um, we have another two fonts. Um, one is a skinnier type style and the other one is, um, what's the other one? Oh, our Prudence font is kind of like a script, like a cursive. Okay, I'm going to fuzz these a little bit just because I'm putting them on a board. If you put our transfers on fabric, you don't have any reason to fuzz them because it doesn't stick like this. Okay, so now I'm going to use the bottom line of my um, tape to line up these letters, and that way I know I'm getting the letters straight. On these fonts like this, when you cut them apart, each letter has four different, oh, I don't know what they call them, register marks, I think, is what they claim them to be. And anyway, so if you use the tape and you chalk that little corner on the tape, you know where to line up your next letter. You just kind of line them up the best you can with the little circles match up, little half circles, and then you'll know your next letter goes there. So I'm just going to do this in white. And I better stir it up. And see, look how much white I still have left. I keep on saying in every video that I didn't have much left, but I still have this whole glob. And this will last for a long time. Like I said, I've been doing this for about two or three months now. And actually, I've, I've been chalking for three months. And I've been a designer for about two months. And I have not yet reordered my white. So three ounces does go a long ways. Oh, and I'm going to do that little corner mark that I told you about. So there's our F. Let's get that peeled up. Ta-da! Okay, so there's our F. I'm going to stick him back on his backer and set him aside. <clears throat> and I'm going to dry it.
And I think this looks really pretty on this black frame. I wanted to do brighter colors. And what's not perfect fall colors than doing an olive green and copper? All right, so here's our A. And again, I'm not going to press over on any of the sides where it overlaps onto another chalk. There's no reason to because you're not chalking there. Just as long as you got the bubbles out and you got that little mark, then you're good. So I'll do my little mark first, and then I'll go down through my A. All right, I think that's good. And we'll dry this and move on to our L. And then we'll have to do the L twice. And I think since it's just twice, I might be able to get away with not washing it in between. We're just going to move it over and use it a second time. Some of the smaller transfers, you can do that way. As long as you're not waiting too long in between and no chalk is stuck to your silk screen, it should be okay to do. Got one L. Get that little mark. And we're going to go for the other L. Come on in, say hi to me. I was joking the other day, and I, I've said this before in my videos, I had to set up my craft space in my bedroom. So if you see a bed over here, that's why. Um, I just have a small single bed. I'm a single girl. I don't need a whole lot, just a place to sleep. And I was thinking the other day, you know what? I don't even have a bedroom anymore. I sleep in my craft room. So... I've just got it made, I guess. Because if I had a boyfriend, I couldn't do that, right? Okay, so let's do our other L. I think it's going to work out just fine. And this one, since it's our last letter, of course, we don't have to do the registration mark this time. Here's our last one, the final peel. Let's put that in our backer sheet over here. See, now I have all these, and I will wash them after I'm done with this live and dry them and put them away for next time. Let me take this off, because wouldn't that be embarrassing hanging it up with a piece of tape on there? All right. And there we are, fall. Just plain and simple and fun. Oh my goodness. How pretty. How pretty indeed. All right, 
Let me grab my other board because that was so much fun. I'm going to change my other Happy Halloween to fall. I'm going to grab my other Chalk Couture board. And this one I had already chalked on. I have the Happy Halloween Pumpkin font. Or not font, but transfer on this one. And this is the one that comes in your designer kit. This is our number 12 Aiden um, board from Chalk You can see on the back it's marked. And this one is also magnetic. So let's get this one sprayed and we'll clean him. paste scraper back out. Let that soak for a second. I'm going to close up my chalk while that's sitting in a second. It doesn't really have to soak, but it helps. I think it starts just to uh, get that loosened up a little. So what colors are we going to do this one in? I don't even know. Oh, see, look, it's already, it's wrinkling. I don't know if you've seen that. It started to wrinkle. See, and it's all loose. I'm not even pushing down on this, you guys. I will just a little bit to get the rest up, but that's just how easy it works. Just with a little water and this paste scraper makes it so convenient. Like I said, if you have not tried Chalk Couture yet, get with me because I would love to share ideas with you and we could talk back and forth can inspire each other for different projects. If you're interested in being on my team or anyone doing what I do, you can put team in the comments and I will send you a link and a video to watch um, in an opportunity group to get more information on that. I also um, can tell you about Club Couture. I'm telling ya, if you want to be what's it and be a preferred customer for Chalk Couture, Club Couture is what you need to check out. Okay, now I'm just going to wipe this with our board eraser. But if you're interested in the club, it's a monthly subscription of $20 a month. You get a size B transfer, two coordinating chalk paste. Every month in the mail, free shipping on that order. And our preferred customers every month get $2 less in shipping. Chalk Couture has a flat rate shipping of $6.95. And our Club Couture members, because they are so special to us, get a smaller shipping price of only $4.95. Now, me as a designer, if I go in and send something out, or uh, put an order in and it gets sent out to me, I don't get that flat rate shipping. I pay for everything. So that's even something us designers don't get. Just thought I'd throw that out to you. You would be getting at deals that I don't get. Currently, right now, our deal is if our Club Couture members spend $50 or more, they get $5 off. So if you're only spending $4.95 on your shipping, that's like getting free shipping for the whole month, as long as you're spending over $50 on that order. So you cannot go wrong with that. And trust me, you will want so much on my website that $50 will go quick because you will just won't find everything you want. Because I know I put in a lot of orders, and $50 will get you a lot of things. All right, so with this one, I think we might just go with one pumpkin. Oh, I'm reaching...
And I don't know if I want to do... This one? Or... Our berries. I kind of like this one. We're going to go with that. What's that? Argyle or something for a sweater? I think that's what it is. I'm going to peel it off here. This one I haven't even used yet, you guys. And I don't think I've used our Aiden boards on a live before. And of course, with Chalk Couture also, you do not need to use just Chalk Couture surfaces. Of course, they are like the best quality ever that you will find. But you can go to your local craft stores. You can go to your department stores. You can go to your neighbor's garage sale. Go to thrift stores. You can steal your husband's wood um, chunks that he's just going to be throwing away. You can grab um, nightstands and dressers and hutches and anything that you can find and chalk on just about any surface out there. So you can make it as spendy as you want to. That's why I like about it. If I need to not spend as much money that week, then I just go and find some surfaces cheap around town and with our transfers these were made for the pumpkin cutouts but you don't have to use them for the pumpkin cutouts the same with the deer um, transfer that we have we have deer cutouts right now from the holiday suite issue and you don't have to use them just for those deer cutouts that one I do not have yet but I might soon. I do have the deer cutouts. I should do those on a live sometime with you guys. I got some and I haven't used them yet. But I wanted to snag a pair while I got them. I'm just trying to line this up. And it's kind of going everywhere. And I'm not having any luck. There. I think that might work. Be over just a little bit more. It's driving me crazy. Yikes. It's like it's moving on its own. Okay, I have it lined up at the bottom. And it's not too bad on the side. So we're going to leave it right there, and you can start in the middle and put, pull it all out. Alright, so, I don't know what to do. What colors should I pick? We can go colors that match our copper and our... Olive or we can you know what I think I might do these diamonds have a center maybe I'll put a little smudge of one color inside those diamonds and not make them perfect or anything and then take another color and kind of pull it through I think that would be fun should we try that? Okay, but what colors? We can do... I kind of like the papaya. It's not a bright orange. I think that would be fun. We'll do the papaya with... Hmm, what's another folly color? We could do a bright yellow. Or we could do a pale yellow. 
That would be fun. Is anybody on here that has any suggestions? Speak up. <clears throat> you can do green. That's not my favorite though. I just really don't know. What if, what color is this? Oh, that's our white. We don't want to do brown. Do we want to do camel? Mm. Choices, choices, and decisions, right? I have about 30 colors out of, I think, the 41 that we have. What if I did mop? That would be pretty. Let's do that. <clears throat> but let's do the diamonds with a little bit of mop and then do the rest of the pumpkin and papaya. That would be good. We're, that's what we're doing. So this one looked a little, uh oh, got a little piece. This one looked a little dry. I added some water. This is more of a a pasty color. It's not as smooth as the shimmers were. I'm going to do it creamy without getting it too creamy. The consistency we're going for is some people say like a cake batter. They like theirs a little bit uh, moister. Um, or like a yogurt. Some people, they like working with it when it slightly drips, I think. I like working with mine a little bit on the thicker side than that. Like, mine doesn't drip. If I shake it, it'll fall. But see, this is really creamy. This looks kind of like a mousse. It's fluffy. It looks whipped. So, that looks good. And I'm going to have to do this in a chalk and peel method, I think, because the surface is so big. So what I'm going to do is do this top half, and then I'm going to pull it back, and then I'm going to have to do the bottom. So to start off with, well, before I even start anything, let me get this one ready. This papaya came to me super creamy. See how that one drips differently? They all come in different consistencies. So you will just have to... Um, work with each paste individually to try to get the consistency that works best for you. And you'll, you'll learn to know your paste as you get working with them, what you think, what kind of maintenance, you know, ma maintenance, ma maintenance, however you want to say that word, whatever you think they may need. So let's put our little dabs of mauve in our diamonds. And I think that's all I'm going to do at the beginning. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. And then I'm going to go around that mauve. And if it gets too close, then that's fine. And I'm just going to put in, it's going to overlap a little bit. But I'm just kind of doing it, I don't know, just to add a little color. So it's not all orange. We'll see how it turns out. And if I don't like it, then I'll just wash it off and do something else next time. I'm just doing it so it doesn't mix. I'm just going right up to that mauve color. And there'll be different shapes and whatever, but they'll still have the little color there. All right, now I'm just taking off a little bit of excess that I've got, putting it back in my jar, and I'm gonna peel that part of it only. Right 
there. I didn't take off a little excess that was there, so it made a mark that I didn't like. So I'm just going to rub it a little bit with my finger. Okay, so now I'm going to dry that a second. I can reach my blow dryer. Yikes, that was a big reach. And I'm just going to lay that back down. <clears throat> now where I didn't chalk before, I'm just going to rub my finger along that edge to make sure that it's stuck back down. And I'm going to go back in with my papaya when I come to a mark where I want the mob to be again, I will add that back in. put our little bit of mauve in and put some there and some right there making sure to take off the extra this time and we're gonna put him down there oh we got one more right here all right let's fill it back in with the papaya take the extra off. I think I'm getting closer to getting finished. Now we're going to peel that again. We're going to give it a quick dry. Now it doesn't look like it's turning out perfect, but I think that it's going to look again. Just do this whole corner because there's not a place for the mob there. The mob of this. Right there, 
a little bit right there, and then we'll chalk the papaya around that. And now, how it'll turn off when I turn out when I pull the whole thing off, but we'll see. Not sure that it was one of my best ideas, but. Got to try all the things out. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think there was a spot, yeah, right here I wanted to try. See if I could fix, but I don't know if I'll make it worse or not. Yeah, that didn't do nothing. Okay. So I'm going to pull it off. And it looks a little rustic. A little messier than I'd like, but... Nobody's going to be right up on your surface looking at it. I don't know. Once it's all dry, there might be a little breakage spot where I pulled and stopped and pulled and stopped. That's my only concern. Let me dry this up. I got a little mix up there, but... I think it says autumn and I think I'm just going to throw this up above the pumpkin in the white as well just kind of do a kitty corner up here fill in some of that space I think that'd be cute. And I've already mixed this. This should be fine since I've already mixed it tonight. So I'm just gonna dig in and grab some of this white paste. And I'm just gonna add the word autumn. Gotta be kinda careful because it's got other words. This is our A size transfer. It's called Autumn Skies. It's one of my favorites. It says Autumn Skies and Pumpkin Pies. I just used this on a fall project the other day. I posted the pictures if you haven't seen that. All right. So. extra there. I just kind of scraped along the edge of my jar. Let's pull this up. There. Now that says autumn. So there we go. It's got a couple spots in it and whatever, but it still looks good to me. And from farther away, eh, you do kind of still see it, but does kind of give it that rustic look though if if you don't mind the little little lines that it made a lot of the uh, farmhouse decor nowadays is all distressed and you know kind of got the impurities or whatever in it so could be like part of your decor if you're doing the farmhouse style. Kind of get that rustic feel to it. Put all my tools in my water bath over here. I've got that ready to wash my transfers when I'm done. So anyway, 
let's get the other project back over here. And speaking of the rustic feel, I pulled apart a palette not that long ago. Hold on just a second here. And a couple, you know, a, a few of the small pieces that I had from that palette, I sanded down. And last night I sat for some me time and I did these coffee signs. This one just says coffee and it has a coffee cup and I put some twine or, you know, some jute over here. And it's bigger on one side and smaller than the other. And I thought if I just put like a little hanger on the back of it, that would be cute in a little spot in the kitchen. So I've got that one. And then I did this one. A day without coffee is like, and then it says, just kidding, I have no idea. So I did this in the same way. And I used our bark paste with a little bit of our camel over the top to give a little bit more of like a chocolate milk feel so it wasn't as dark. So those are my two new coffee signs I did. And those just from a piece of wood from a palette, old piece of wood, I sanded it down really good and made these two little coffee signs. So... That's fun. It'd be like coordinating in someone's kitchen if they have kind of some coffee decor or, you know, just a little sign. Like if you have a, I don't know, a coffee cart or I don't know what they call them when they do those hutches, a coffee bar. Yeah, so I did those up that I would share. Here's our two fall projects I did on our Grayson 9x12 with our uh, rustic font and our pumpkins patterns transfer and this is also pumpkin patterns transfer and that's in white and this one autumn came from our oh no my brain's not working um autumn skies transfer so that's all I have for you for tonight Please go find me on my social medias. I'm on Instagram at chalkbaby underscore cc. I also upload my videos to YouTube at chalkbaby. And if you're at YouTube, go to my Facebook page and like everything there. Um, please follow me. I will do many, many more projects. As long as I can get people to watch my videos, I will still come back and show you more. Thank you. Have a great night. Bye.